When we meet people, we don't know all the nasty things they done yesterday, a week ago, or a month ago. We just know that they look good, that they're attractive. We don't know what they was doing on their knees yesterday. We don't know what, what they was doing, who bent them over yesterday. We don't know about all that stuff. All we see is that we're attracted to the person and that, wow, this may be the person. This may be the person of my dreams. This is the person I've been waiting for. We don't know all the nasty stuff they've been doing. We don't know if they just got pregnant by somebody that's crazy. We don't know what. People react with their emotions. It's always about how they feel at the time. Most of the time, we don't look at the big picture. We don't analyze people and look at their main qualities. We're looking for perfection. If somebody look perfected, we think they perfected. If they look good on paper, we think they perfected. We don't never consider the heart. We always consider what they do for a living, how good they look. Um, do they agree with me? We don't know if they agree with us or not. If they quiet and just shake their head, laugh or smile, we think they agree with us. The real times come when all the newness wear off. People small talk for three weeks, three, three months, sometimes a whole year. You never really ask nobody no real questions. People break up not because they change. It's because they finally got to see who they each other really are. People got to ask people real questions when they meet each other. They got to ask them how they feel about certain situations. We got to ask them about their past. They always say, my past don't concern you. Yes, it do. If you're pregnant by a guy from last month, it's going to affect me if I'm trying to get with you. If a man just caught an STD from a, from a, from a woman and he about to do something with you and you may, not be requ you may not require him to put on no rubber. You know what I'm saying? That's going to affect you. You may be a kisser and let you might want him to kiss you. And you don't know where he put his tongue last night. We don't you don't know. You don't know. You got to consider the big picture, which is health. You got to consider their heart, health, and a mental state. And their attentions. Just because I have a good job and I look well, I have the type of job that you always wanted your man to have. It don't mean I can have kids. You may want kids. It don't mean I can have kids. It don't mean I, I am good with kids. It don't mean that I'm not suicidal. It don't mean that... It don't mean that I don't have a temper tantrum. It don't mean that I, I'm not a womanizer. So many times we worry about the superficial stuff, but we don't consider the heart and the stuff that really matter and it's really going to make a relationship last. You're going to get used to my looks. I'm going to get used to your looks. The only thing that's going to keep this relationship new is my true love and intentions for your well-being. All that, what I do for a living, I, I can provide everything for you, but it's not going to matter if I don't have the love enough to give the attention to the kid we about to have. The kid gonna be crazy because if I, if I neglect them or abuse them or something like that, they're not gonna be right. It's not all about paper thin relationships. Most of you guys have paper thin relationships. It's always based on money and finances. And that's why your relationship's not lasting. You're skipping from one person to the next. You're skipping from one hand bone to the next. You keep on having the same old story. It just didn't work out. I just didn't find the one yet. You're not going to find the one if you don't know how to look for the one. And if you're just looking for superficial things, you're going to be looking for a long time. Because those things can come and go. But a person, heart, mind, and personality stays the same. I'm Alan Williams, the Rillionaire. I love you, but Jesus love you more. Holla at me. Tell me what you think about in the comment section. We got to figure out why people don't consider the most important things when dealing with friendships, relationships, and everything else.